Hello, horror movie fans. I'm the famous film fanatic, and today I shall review the high budget action horror thrill ride I Am Legend. This film is a mixed bag. There are some good points and some bad points, and I'll try my best to balance them all out in this review. Somehow immune to an unstoppable, incurable virus, military scientist Robert Neville, played by Will Smith, is now the last human survivor in New York. But he is not alone. Mutated plague victims lurk in the shadows, watching his every move. Perhaps mankind's last hope, Neville is driven by his mission to find an antidote, but he is running out of time. Quite an intense plot, I know, but it makes for a good film in the end. Will Smith does a brilliant job playing the mentally unstable survivor. Also, I really commend Abby and Kona for a great performance as Sam the dog. This film is pretty good. It's exciting and mostly fast-paced, which makes for a gripping film. There are a few dough moments, but it's mostly good stuff. This film is based off of a book, but is more of a remake of The Omega Man, another film about a lone survivor facing off against mutants. Is it scary, though? Well, the principle is scary enough, and a lot of the scenes are very suspenseful, but the fear is somewhat ruined by the mutants themselves. The mutants in this movie are CGI, which really kills it for me. Still, watching those chase scenes still gets my heart pumping. The film is of two halves. The first half, we follow Will Smith's character and Sam the dog, struggling to survive in the harsh New York wilderness, hunting deer, covering their scent, and, most importantly, getting home before dark. However, this fantastic setup is somewhat ruined by the discovery of more survivors, in the form of a mother and her young son. They interrupt the feel of the film and ruin it for me, really. One of the big con controversies often discussed and debated about the film is its terrible ending. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but the ending does feel very abrupt and even a bit rushed. The film is a bit of a depressing film and has the power to ruin a good mood, but that makes it powerful in the ability to captivate the audience. Overall, the film is good, and that's about it. A little dull in areas, and the CGI really took its sort of grainy, almost almost biographical feel away, and instead made it just another action film. The additional characters dilute the film's emotional impact, and for these reasons and more, it gets a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe. You won't regret it. However, I have been the famous film fanatic, and until next time, goodbye.